Welcome to the Brownwood Bulletin's webcast for Sunday, July 11, 2010. I'm Candace Cooksey Fulton, staff writer for the Bulletin, and here are some of the top stories we'll have in our Sunday paper. The curtain goes up on Thursday for the Lyric Performing Arts Company's production of Annie, and on our front page Sunday, we'll have a picture from the dress rehearsal and a story with a schedule of the shows, cast list, and show information. Good Samaritan Ministries is planning its second annual Cow Pasture Extreme Golf Classic, and this one's supposed to be even wilder and more fun than the one before. That's scheduled for August 28th, and our Sunday front page will have all the pertinent details. Bulletin publisher Bob Rensfield has been named president of the Texas Press Association. That announcement is also in our Sunday paper. And we'll write about the weather, how much it has rained, and what's the forecast. Our lifestyle section has a first-person story of a Girl Scout getaway for a local troop to Inks Lake, where the girls learned about canoeing, kayaking, and lots about water safety. That's a fun read. In my column, I get a little philosophical about whether the summer's half over or only half begun. Don't know if I figured out the correct answer, but I do know there's more summer fun on the horizon. In sports, we'll have these stories. Former Brownwood Lion Shelby Miller is pitching in the 12th annual All-Stars Futures game at 5 p.m. on ESPN2. Former Brownwood Lady Lion Julie Kennedy is playing in the TGCA All-Star Volleyball game in Arlington Wednesday, and TTAB District Tournament begins for Brownwood and early on Monday. The first round results from the Brownwood Country Club three-man shamble are also on our sports page. And more photos from the Brownwood Lions 707 Football State Championship performance will be for, there for you. You'll also get all these stories and more in our Sunday edition of the Brownwood Bulletin. Buy the paper at your local newsstand or find us here at brownwoodbulletin.com.